One of my favorite ways to cook in the summertime is in my crock pot. It's still so hot outside, which means I'd much rather be using my slow cooker to make dinner. And if you find that you're always making the same old recipes, well, I'm here to give you some new ideas. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie, and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm sharing three delicious crock pot recipes that will seriously knock your socks off. Now let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna love these honey lime chicken tacos. To my crock pot, I added in three boneless skinless chicken breasts, along with one packet of fajita seasoning. Just sprinkle that evenly over the chicken. Then I added in half a cup of honey. And trust me, you do not want to skip out on the honey. I'm also adding in half a cup of lime juice. You can use the fresh if you prefer, but I'm just using the concentrate. Now you're going to add in a seven ounce can of salsa verde. And that is all there is to it. Now you're going to cover it and let it cook on low for about six to eight hours, just until that chicken is cooked through. And believe me when I say, this smelled absolutely amazing. And it took no time at all to throw together. If you wanna get rid of some of that juice, you can, but I just left all the juice in the crock pot there. I removed the chicken to a separate bowl, shredded it, and then added it back in. Now stir that up really good and let it soak up all of that flavor. Now this is something that I wanna make again and again. I served mine on flour tortillas topped with shredded lettuce, sour cream, avocado, and cilantro. But you could top yours with anything you like. This is also great to meal prep. You could double the recipe, have it for dinner, and have extra for a quick lunch or dinner later in the week. It is delicious. Next up is slow cooker barbecue beef. I'm making up a little mixture to pour over the roast. In my measuring cup, I have about half a cup of beef broth. I also added two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now just give that a quick stir and then set it aside. Now to your crock pot sprayed with the nonstick spray, you're gonna add in a two to three pound beef chuck roast. Then you're gonna pour over that broth mixture that we just made up. And now for the seasonings. I added two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and one teaspoon of mustard powder. But if you don't have mustard powder, you can just add in a good two tablespoons of mustard. Now I'm adding a third of a cup of brown sugar. Just sprinkle that evenly over the top and feel free to reduce the amount of sugar. It will still turn out delicious. And that was one large diced onion I added in there. Now I'm topping it off with six tablespoons of butter. And I did cut that into slices and place it evenly over the top. Now you're gonna cover this and set it to cook on low for about 10 hours. You'll just let it cook until that roast is nice and tender. And I'm telling you, this will make your house smell amazing. If you wanna keep a little of the juice in that crock pot, you can, but I like to get rid of all mine. I just pulled out the whole little insert there and I removed the roast, got rid of the liquid, and then added the roast back in. This was so tender, it was so easy to shred. I could have shredded it with my tongs, but I ended up pulling out the meat chopper. And I did get rid of any of the large pieces of fat. Now use your favorite barbecue sauce here. This is just what I had on hand. And you'll add in as much or as little as you like. Now stir that together. And while I'm thinking about it, if you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, back to the recipe. After I got that all mixed together, I covered it back up and let it continue to cook on low for 30 minutes. 
That way the beef has some time to soak up that barbecue sauce. You can serve this any way you like, but I served mine on toasted hamburger buns. This will be great to make for a summer cookout or really any day of the week. This has so much flavor and it has became one of my family's favorite recipes. And if you try it, you'll understand why. This last recipe is slow cooker Parmesan chicken and rice. To get started, you'll need two cans of cream of chicken soup. Just add those right on into the crock pot. What types of meals do y'all like cooking this time of year? Do you like one pot meals, crock pot dinners, casseroles? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, to that cream of chicken soup, you're gonna add in one packet of Italian seasoning mix along with one and three fourths cup of milk, and I'm just using 2% here. And for the rice, you'll need one cup of uncooked white rice, and make sure you rinse your rice before you add it in. That helps this not to become sticky. Do y'all rinse your rice for recipes? I'm telling you, it's a complete game changer. I gave all that a really good whisk, then I added in four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You could actually use a few more if you'd like. And I just spooned over that creamy rice mixture to completely cover the chicken. Now, this was my first time making this. It said to cook it on high for three to four hours. And I should have checked it a little earlier. I was a little distracted and I ended up burning it. <laughs> but I'm sharing this because I was able to save it and it was absolutely delicious. I just decided to spoon out everything I could, everything that wasn't stuck to the bottom. I just put that in a separate bowl. Then I was able to scrape out all the stuff that was stuck to the bottom of the pot. And really, I thought it was a lot worse than it actually was. It just got a little browned on the bottom there. Next time I make this, I will definitely check it sooner. And this was what I was focused on instead of paying attention to what was in the crock pot. I cannot believe she's already four months old. I wish I could keep her this little forever. Okay, and here's the bowl of browned rice. And to be honest, it was quite delicious. I had added the rest back to the crock pot and then I shredded up that chicken and then this was ready to serve. Things don't always turn out the way you want them to, but when that happens, I just try to figure out how to fix it or how to make the best of it. I do have recipe fails sometimes, but hey, that's how you learn. I really hope you give this one a try though, because it was so good. We really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos and we will see you in the next one. Cheese! You gonna look at them? You gonna say hey? Say, let's go ahead and get started. Say cheese. Cheeseburger. Say Minnie Mouse. There's Lainey. Look, right here. Come on. Where is, look at that little princess. Say, hey y'all, we love you. Say bye.